Hello, welcome to a study guide for the distance learner. My name is Nora Omumel and I'll be taking you through module 2 of this course. This module consists of 5 units. Unit 1 is on listening. Unit 2 is on speaking. Unit 3, reading. Unit 4, writing. While Unit 5 is on study strategies. Let's now look at Unit 1. What is listening? Listening is considered to be the first of the four basic language skills. The four la language skills are listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Listening is described as a process of receiving and interpreting meaning from sounds or messages. It is an everyday activity which involves receiving sounds through the ears and processing it so that it becomes meaningful to us. To succeed as a student, you must acquire the listening skill. You should also note that listening is considered to be the primary medium of learning. Let's look at listening and hearing. We sometimes interchange listening with hearing. They may appear similar, but in truth, they are quite different. Hearing is a physiological process. It is physical and it is passive. As long as there is sound around us, there is no hearing impairment, we will hear. While listening, on the other hand, is a cognitive process. It is mental and active. In listening, you will need concentration to assimilate and to understand what is heard. Strategies for efficient listening. These are strategies that encourage efficient listening. Number one, stop talking and pay attention. When someone else is talking, be attentive and prepared to listen. Two, maintain eye contact with the speaker. Show that you are genuinely interested in what someone is saying. Face the person and occasionally make eye contact while they are talking. Three, empathize with the speaker. Let go of preconceived ideas or notions on particular subjects. Try to understand the speaker's perspective. Four, remove physical and mental distractions. Cast away infiltrating thoughts and focus on the speaker to optimize your listening ability. Do not let your mind wander from the topic or the speech given. Be alert to non-verbal cues from the speaker. Watch out for unspoken cues, gestures, facial expressions, voice tone, body language. Number six, take notes. Write down important points to enable you remember, summarize, and clarify whatever doubts that may arise. Types or purposes of listening. The active or attentive listening. You listen attentively to understand the actual message being delivered. You also focus on understanding the speaker's words and messages accurately. The critical or analytical listening. Here you listen to evaluate and to analyze. You also focus to evaluate whether the message is logical and reasonable for you to accept or to reject. In emphatic or therapeutic listening, you provide emotional support to the speaker who could be a friend or relation. You focus on understanding the speaker's feelings without delivering judgments. Appreciative listening. You listen for pleasure and for enjoyment. It is distinctive because it is your response as a listener that, that defines it and not the source or the speaker. Advantages of learning through listening. One great benefit of learning through listening is that you stand a greater chance of absorbing much more from the speaker. Others include increased academic understanding, improved communication skills, ab ability to block out distractions, increased retention, and large vocabulary development. These are skills that will be of utmost importance to you as a student. Barriers to effective listening. Some of the impediments you may encounter in the process of listening may be physical, physiological, psychological, linguistic, perceptual, and much more than this. The essential components of listening. Some of the components that make up the listening process include hearing, understanding, remembering, 
evaluating and of course feedback becoming an effective listener be prepared to listen concentrate on the speaker's content and context ask questions at the time when the time is right and take notes this is all we can take for this unit for further reading refer to your course material thank you for listening